The story of Luke 16, 19 to 31, explains the reality of the afterlife in what is translated into Greek, Hades, translating the Hebrew, Sheol. It shows that there are two chambers separated by a chasm. In one chamber was the bosom of Abraham, where Hebrews and converted Gentiles who died faithful to God under the Torah were kept in a place of composure, awaiting the coming of the Messiah so they could enter into an eternal paradise. This was the bosom of Abraham, being gathered to the fathers as the imagery. The opposite place was the waiting room for eternal judgment. That is the other chamber of Hades, or of Sheol, of the netherworld, and it was a place of torment. Under the law, Jews could not enter into the divine presence fully in terms of paradise because the Messiah had not yet come and died for their sin. They only had kapora as in Yom Kippur. If they had real faith and genuine repentance, the blood of the scapegoat would make kapora, that is, cover, temporarily cover their sin until the Messiah came and removed them. It was a holding pen, a pe place of blessing, a place of, 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 of composure, a place of being with the fathers. It was a good place, but not as good as what was coming. It was the waiting room for a greater blessing. That is where Lazarus was gathered. The other place was a place of torment, but that was simply a waiting room for eternal torment. When Jesus came, he descended into Hades. He revealed himself to the Old Testament saints who were awaiting for the coming of the Messiah. That's where he went. Of course, the King James mistranslates this, that he descended into hell, as do some of the cradles of the early church. And the word faith money preachers corrupt this following the teachings of, 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 of word faith teachers who were influenced by E.W. Kenyon and others who began to say that Jesus died spiritually and he went to hell and he was tormented in hell <clears throat> and all of these heretically nonsensical teachings that deny he got the total victory on the cross when he said it was finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. They say, no, we had to go to hell and be tormented and be born again in hell. This is the basis of the theology of people like Joyce Meyer in the first edition of her first book, or of Kenneth Copeland, or of the late Kenneth Hagin. Absolute rejection of the true gospel. That's not what happened. Luke 16 shows us what it was like. The Old Testament saints went to the bosom of Abraham. The others went to this place of torment and judgment. Uh, this is Hades. This is the Greek translation of Sheol, the netherworld. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you so much for your question. Blessings to your friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't for the sake of brevity uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. First being The Dilemma of Laodicea, the Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. 
The second would be shadows of the beast. Shadows of the beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen. Will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo. What the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away, which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available in the Memorial Catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.